Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am back today with a plan with me in my pocket um, Moterm um, rings planner and I am planning for the um, week of the 24th through October 30th. Um, I have all my appointments that I had in my planner right there. I have chosen um, just a couple of sample washies um, and I I think these are all from Simply Gilded um, that I just got from random people. And then this week I am using a mini kit from Charlotte's Paper Company. And um, I think this is her Falling Into Fall or I Love Fall kit. And it's just a two page mini kit. So super cute. Um, not a lot to it. And I'm you know, I'm glad for that just because, you know, I don't have a lot of room in a little pocket. So, um, so let's get started. I have taken my inserts out of my little planner. And, um, the first thing I'm going to do is just lay down some washi. I just really want to start using up some of um, the washi I have from, you know, just, um, samples that people have sent me and, um, because I have quite a few of them. And I just use washi in my pocket planner just down at the bottom to cover up just a little bit. Just give it a little pizzazz and to cover up that reflection part. I am starting to use some new inserts. Um, I believe these are from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, and let's see. Let's use some of this yellow. And kind of, it's kind of an ombre. that I got from SLO Plans. She sent that to me with my order. And then I thought I would use some of this kind of, um, it's like peachy, but it's like an orange tone. And I'm just gonna put it at the bottom here in the corner. With these new inserts, um, you know, you can that way. Oh, I was going to use this yellow too, just because it goes with it. So, and all of these are just, you know, like um, samples that friends and different people have sent me. hope that you all are doing well. Um, I um, actually had a telehealth doctor's appointment yesterday and um, my doctor is just running a ton of tests um, just kind of because I think I'm going through menopause and um, and so, um, she's just trying to check my hormones and that kind of thing. And, um, she ran a test, my liver enzymes to, um, I have a liver disorder and I'm, where my immune system attacks my liver. And, um, it's called primary bilinary cholangitis. And until we figured out what it was, my liver enzymes were off the charts. So they thought I had a fatty liver or that I um, did a lot of damage when I um, was drinking because I am a recovering alcoholic. Well, come to find out, my immune system was attacking my liver and that's what was making my enzymes so high. Well, it has been controlled with medicine all these Oh, probably it's been really under control two or three years. And, um, and that's all the washi I'm going to use. 
And so um, when I was looking at my test results yesterday, um, my liver enzymes are all elevated again. So I don't know if my medicine's not working, if there's something else I'm doing that is affecting the liver or making it um, my enzymes elevated. I'm just, I'm unsure about it, but I'm kind of concerned because before I had, before I started the medicine and we figured out what was going on, my liver enzymes would get up to about, oh, about 184 or something, which is kind of off the charts. And, um, and so they finally figured it out. Now my liver enzymes were really good. I was so proud of them. And, um, And so, now they're in the 190s. So that has me concerned. My doctor hasn't called or emailed me yet. Um, I do have an appointment to go over my blood work with her, but um, we just haven't done it yet. And um, it's just, um, I just don't know what's going on and why, you know, do you, does your body get used to the medicine and um, it has to be adjusted or um, does, you know, um, if you've been on the medicine for a couple years, does it stop working? You know, these are just kind of my questions and, um, and I just don't know. So, um, so it's just kind of concerning for me. I don't know what to think of it. And, um, I don't have my appointment with her for a couple weeks and I don't really want to bother her, but, you know, it's, it's hard to wait on your results. My doctor is very good about communicating with me through email. So if I have to go that route and just email her, um, because I'm impatient, I mean, she would, she would totally respond and respect that. Um, and she may, you know, who knows, she may contact me before, um, before when she sees those test results. I just got them last night. Um, and so I was looking at them. I don't think she's even seen them yet. Um, because they came in after five. Oh, I forgot to put the days of the week up here. So you might say a little prayer that we figure out what's going on. It took us a couple years to finally get diagnosed with, um, the primary bilinary cholangitis and figure out what was causing my liver enzymes to be elevated and it was nice to be able to you know you have a lot of guilt when you get sober and um at the damage you've done not only to people but to yourself and um and so it's just um I don't know where to put this just a little so it was nice to be able to find out okay I didn't kill myself drinking. I didn't damage my liver. Um, the liver is a very healing thing. And, um, and initially when, when I was, um, when they were doing all this testing and trying to figure out what was going on with my liver, they, when I would tell them, they would ask me if I had been drinking again because my liver enzymes were off the chart. And, um, when I would tell them no, like they, they acted like they didn't really believe me. So it kind of made me feel, um, a little, you know, vindicative and showed that, you know, I was telling the truth. I'm not drinking, which is, I'll probably get that question again now that my enzymes are off the chart. But that's their job, you know, they have to take care of their patients and, you know, the first thing you have to ask, are you drinking again? So, I don't know, we'll just, 
watch it and see how it goes. Of course, Greg, last night he was telling me, you know, don't start worrying about something that you don't know anything. But I could tell that he was, you know, the way he kept talking about it, you know, he's worried. It has him concerned. So, um, I need a box for, um, Tuesday. We will actually put it down here. So I think Greg was saying, you know, don't worry about something until, I think he was saying it to benefit himself as much as me. Um, so, tasks, I have trash and I have a planning set up for, plan for next week. And then I need a church box. We will use just one of these bullets. For church. So that's Sunday. And then Monday, I need a box for when Greg goes to work. Let me put that in here. Put it over here where he's working and then I have Erica coming put it here I better move that up just a little if I can so it doesn't cover up that little hole there so that's Sunday and Monday and then Tuesday I have a box, but Erica comes. So anyways, that's what I've been up to. And um, my doctor ran so many tests yesterday. It is the first time it was the maximum amount of blood that I had taken. Um, and um, my, the lady that did my blood, the phlebotomist, she said, um, now you have like a massive amount of blood work. And I said, you know, okay. She's like, do you want to do it all in one day? I'm like, yeah, you know, I don't want to have to come back. I don't want to have to wait in this line. Um, let's just get it done with. So, um, <laughs> she took, um, gosh, this is crazy. Um, she took 15 tubes of blood, which it didn't affect me. It didn't bother me. And, um, and so, and I asked her, I said, is this your, the most tubes of blood that you've ever taken from someone? And she's like, absolutely. I'm like, oh. Which didn't make me feel good, because I was like, you know, maybe, maybe there's something. You know, it just makes you feel like you're um, medically just not, not healthy. So I put in my Tuesday, I have a couple of things on Thursday, so I need a couple boxes. Uh, so Greg has an appointment on Thursday, he has a CPAP appointment to get a new CPAP machine, and then Thursday night, I have my small group, so there is that, so that is Thursday, like that, like that, and then Friday, I have an appointment with my weigh-in, and I don't think I've told you, last week when I had my weigh-in, um, I do the Lean MD program because I have to lose um, some weight before I can have my knee replacements. So, um, so I'm going this route, and um, it's very helpful and holds me accountable. But last week I lost seven pounds, and so now I've lost a total of 29 pounds. 
um, which I was so glad of. And then I need this checklist box. <clears throat> we will use it right here for Saturday. And then I use, see the, um, I need this weekend banner. This is just, this mini kit is the perfect size for a pocket planner. So if I can't get this weekend banner up, there we go. And we'll put it up here. I don't know if I should, yeah, we'll put it up here. So there is the weekend. So I used all of that, and then I just have some bullets left, build do, and a habit tracker. So um, this will probably go into my giveaway with my extras. I'm gonna pop these in my planner so you can see them. You'll notice I did not use a Halloween kit yet because <clears throat> Halloween's on the 31st and I start my week on a Sunday. So I just saved my Halloween um, until next week. So I have um, a Sunday and then Monday and then Tuesday and Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday and I think I'm gonna put because we go to church on Sunday I really like to have a box so I'm going to take this habit tracker and just cut off the days of the week towards the bottom so I can use this box for putting down church So that is my week. I hope you enjoyed my plan with me and I'll be back soon with another crafty planner or beauty video.